Hello friends, I am Saurabh. Let's have a look at another interesting problem today which is how to create a balanced binary search tree from a sorted array. So the problem statement is, given a sorted integer array of length n, we have to create a balanced binary search tree using elements of the array. Let us first understand what is balanced binary search tree. A binary search tree is balanced if height of left subtree and right subtree of root differ by at most 1, left subtree is balanced, right subtree is balanced. Consider following BST. Is this balanced? height of left subtree of root is 2, height of right subtree of root is 1. So the difference is 1. Left subtree is balanced and right subtree is balanced. So it meets all conditions and hence this BHT is balanced. Consider another BHT. Here height of left subtree is 2 and height of right subtree is 0. So the difference is 2 and hence this is not a balanced BHT. Now back to our original problem of creating balanced binary search tree from a sorted array. Let us try to understand it through some examples. We are given this sorted array, we have to create a balanced binary search tree from it. So the solution here would be, consider another example. So the solution is, consider one more example. For this array, balanced binary search tree is, of the examples we just saw, do we see a pattern here? If we look closely, the root node is middle element of the sorted array. Now let's consider the left subtrees of the binary search tree shown here. Again we observe the same pattern. The root nodes of left subtrees are again middle elements of left half of the sorted array. For example, consider the highlighted BST. The root node of the left subtree is 2, which is the middle element of left half of the sorted array from 1 to 3. Same is true for right subtrees as well. So our observation is that root node is middle element of the sorted array. What will happen if we do not take middle as root here? Consider following binary search trees created from this array. So is this balanced? No it is not. Is this BHT balanced? No it is not. Is this BHT balanced? No it is not. Now let's have a look at the algorithm for solving this problem. These steps will be explained in detail with an example in subsequent slides. Do not worry if you do not get it right away. So we initialize start equal to 0 and equal to length of array minus 1. We calculate mid which is start plus n by 2. Then we create a tree node with mid as root. Let's call it A. Recursively do following steps. Calculate mid of left subarray and make it root of left subtree of A. Then calculate mid of right subarray and make it root of right subtree of A. Now let's understand the algorithm steps with the help of an example. Initialize start to index 0 and to index 6. Calculate mid which is start plus n by 2 which is 3. Mid has divided the array into two parts. Since element to the left of mid are smaller than mid, left subarray will be used to create left subtree of the root. Also element to the right of mid are greater than the mid element, right subarray will be used to create right subtree of the root. This can be depicted as shown here. Now do the same for left and right subarrays. As we can see here for left subarray of 4, 2 is mid element, so we make it as root of left subtree of 4. 1 becomes root of left subtree of 2 and 3 becomes root of right subtree of 2. Similarly, we create right subtree of 4 with 6 as root. We will visualize the algorithm through a simple animation. First we take a quick look at the code. This method takes 3 inputs, sorted array, start index and n index of the array. If start index is greater than n index, we return null. This is the termination condition of the recursion. Otherwise we calculate mid as start plus n by 2. We make a tree node root with mid element. Then we recursively call create bst for left and right subarrays to get roots of left and right subtrees. Finally we return root. Let us start with code visualization. Here start index is 0 and n index is 8. Since start index is less than n index, we move on to next step. We calculate mid which is start plus n by 2 which is 4. Next we create a tree node with mid element. Next we call create bst function recursively for left subarray. Here start index is 0 and n index is 3. Since we are calling create bst function recursively, we store function state in a call stack so that when execution of call for left subarray returns, we can resume execution for current function. For simplicity, we are showing only start and end values in the call stack. Let us resume our code execution. Here start index is 0 and end index is 3. Since start is less than end, we move on to next step. We calculate mid, which is 1. 
The next step is to create a tree node with mid element. Next we call create BST function recursively for left subarray. Here start index is 0 and end index is 0. We store current function state in a call stack. Here start and end both are 0. Since start is not greater than end, we move on to next step. We calculate mid which is 0. Next step is to create a tree node with mid element. Now we call create BST function recursively for left subarray. Here start index is 0 and end index is minus 1. We store current function state in call stack. Here start is 0 and end is minus 1. Since start is greater than end, we return null here. We go back to our previous call stack where start index was 0 and end index was 0. Since null was returned from previous recursion call, we set root dot left to null. We move on to next step. Here we call create BST function recursively for right subarray. Here start index is 1 and end index is 0. We store current function state in call stack. Here since start is greater than end, we return null. We go back to our previous call stack where start index was 0 and end index was 0. Since null was returned from previous recursion call, we set root dot right to null. Finally we return node 1 from here. We go back to our previous call stack where start index was 0 and end was 3. We come to this step. Since node 1 was returned from the previous step, we set 2 dot left to 1. We move on to next step. We call create BST function recursively for the right subarray. Here start index is 2 and end is 3. We store current function state in call stack. Since start is less than end here, we move on to next step. We calculate mid which is 2. The next step is to create tree node with mid element. Now we call create BST function recursively for left subarray. Here start index is 2 and end index is 1. We store current function state in call stack. Here start is greater than end so we return null here. We go back to our previous call stack where start index was 2 and end index was 3. We reach to this step. Since null was returned from previous recursion call, we set 3 dot left to null. We move on to next step. We call create BST function recursively for right subarray. Here start index is 3 and end index is 3. We store current function state in call stack. Since start is not greater than end, we move on to next step. We calculate mid which is start plus end by 2 which is 3 again. The next step is to create tree node with mid element. Next we call create BST function recursively for left subarray. Here start index is 3 and end index is 2. Now similarly as before since start is greater than end here this call will return null. So we set 4 dot left to null. Next we call create BST function recursively for right subarray. Here start index is 4 and end is 3. Again since start is greater than end this call will return null. So we set 4 dot right to null. Finally we return node 4 here. We go back to our previous call stack where start index was 2 and end was 3. We reach to this step. Since node 4 was returned from previous recursion call we set 3 dot right to 4. Finally we return node 3 here. We go back to our previous call stack where start index was 0 and end index was 3. We reach to this step. Since node 3 was returned from previous recursion call, we set 2 dot right to 3. Finally we return node 2 here. We go back to our previous call stack where start index was 0 and end was 8. We reach to this step. Since node 2 was returned from previous recursion call, we set 5 dot left to 2. Hence we are done with the creation of left subtree of the root. We hope that creation of left subtree is clear. We move on to next step. We call create BST function recursively for right subarray. Here start index is 5 and end index is 8. Similarly right subtree will also get created and it will look like this. Finally we return 5 as the root of balanced binary search tree. Time complexity of this algorithm is order of n. Code for the problem can be found in the section below the video. How will you create a balanced binary search tree from a sorted linked list? Please suggest any topic which you wish to see on iDeserve. We are uploading new topics every day. Please subscribe to get daily updates. Thank you.